Hello, everybody. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. And I'd like to say a few words, if you please, regarding the story that you're about to see. It actually happened. Just take it from me. But there's more to this story than what's on the page. So please pay attention while I set the stage. We open in Sneedville, a city, they say, that was plastic and fake, and they liked it that way. A town without nature, not one living tree. So what happened to them? Cue the music. Let's see. Ted? Oh, hey, Audrey. Hi. Did your ball land in my backyard again? <laughs> what? No. A model airplane, this time. <laughs> hey, do you want to see something cool? Well, come on. Whoa. Did you... Did you paint this? Do you like it? What? Are you kidding? This is amazing! What are those? Those are trees. Real ones. They used to grow all around here. And people said that the touch of their tufts was softer than anything, even silk. And they smelled like butterfly milk. Wow. What does that even mean? I know, right? <gasps> ah! Oh, yeah? What I want more than anything in the whole world is to see a real living tree growing in my backyard. So if, say, I'm just thinking out loud here, if a guy somehow got you one... Well, I'd probably marry him on the spot. I bet that sounds crazy. 
Does that sound crazy? No, not crazy. <clears throat> not crazy at all. Ted, honey, don't play with your food. You either, Mom. So, Mom, do you happen to know if there's, like, any place where I could get a real... Tr the latest model. Yeah, yeah but I mean, like, a, a real one that, that grows out of the, the ground or whatever. You know, like, a real tree. Really? You'd rather have some dirty, messy lump of wood that just sticks out of the ground and it does what? I don't even know what it does. What's its purpose? Look at what we've got. It's the Okomatic, the only tree with its own remote. Summer, autumn, winter, and disco. <laughs> <laughs> Mom. Come on, Ted, get into oh. it. Dance with the tree. Oh, it hurts, Mom. Please stop. So, anyway, let's just say I need a tree. Where would I go? Where would I go? Oh, then you know what? You need to find the ones here. The, the what? Mom, it's not really the time for any, uh, you know, magical fables, okay? Oh, that's right. I forgot. I'm old and can't even remember to put my teeth in. Stand down. That's not what I meant. No, really, I forgot my teeth. Would you be a dare and go get them for me? <sighs> sure, Mom. Okay, here's the deal. The Wunzler is the man who knows what happened to the trees. You want one? You need to find him. The Wunzler? Mm-hmm. Okay. Granny, is this a real thing that we're talking about now? Oh, he's real, all right. Well, where can I find him? Ah! <laughs> ah. Far outside of town where the grass never grows, and the wind smells so and sour when it blows. <laughs> and no birds ever sing, excepting old crows. <laughs> Quit doing that! That's the place where the Wunzler lives. Wait, outside of town? Hey! People used to say, if you brought him 15 cents, a nail, and the shell of a great, great, great grandfather snail, he'd tell you everything. smog in the sky, <laughs> the more people will buy. <laughs> See, that's why he's a genius. It even rhymes. I'm aware it rhymes. <laughs> what do you two knuckleheads want? I'm in the middle of a meeting. What? Why is he leaving town? No one ever leaves town. See what he's up to.